Ooh, ooh. Wee, wee, wee. I, I, I. Smile, smile, smile. Hi, Dude, what is up with the lighting? The lighting is actually disgusting, huh? Today we're making breakfast and then eating it, hopefully. Give me one second. Let me tie my hair back, bitch. Also, ignore the outfit. It is morning. This is my jam jams, okay? And I haven't ate. Well, I did eat a little snack. But it's breakfast time. Let's make breakfast. Also, bro, the lighting is actually so racist, man. Dude, this lighting, because it's like downward, it makes me look so tired. <laughs> I'm mentally tired, not physically tired. So let's let's get into it. Let me get chapstick. Holy fuck. I don't care if the AC is loud. If you hear it, I don't give a shit. It's hot as balls, okay? Anyways, the menu for today. Okay, so I made a little, like a couple days ago, I made cinnamon roll uh, pancakes. So I'm going to make that. And then we're going to do potatoes, egg. We don't have protein. We don't have meat other than the egg, obviously. I feel like this would taste so good with sausages, but we don't have sausages. The only sausages we have are like apple sausages. Ew, fruit and meat. Ew. Anyways, fuck the fruit. I'm not eating fruit in the morning. I'm gonna fuck about you. I eat carbs. But let me see if we even have potatoes. Give me a second. All right, we do got potatoes. I think we use three. I feel like I would prefer four, but I think four is too much. Let me heat up the water. This is how I make shit. I know it's wrong. I don't give a fuck, okay? I like it. Shut up. So what I do is get a fucking pan. It doesn't matter if it's clean or what. I'll get a cup of water, like literally one exact cup of water, like it doesn't matter what kind of cup. I have it on low, because I'm not in a rush. I'm never in a rush when I'm cooking. I don't give a fuck. My mom said, told me to um, actually clean the kitchen while I'm cooking, but I'm scared. I don't know how to cut. I'll be so honest. Like I kind of just cut how I fucking want to cut, bitch. Also, I don't peel them. I don't give a fuck about the peel. I don't know why y'all babies. And be like, I need the potato, I hate the potato here. Like, you're the same bitches that will cut the crust off the fucking bread. Okay, I think I'm only going to do two potatoes. I think third is just too much, man. A lot of people will say you should, like, wash them again for the starch order. The starch is what is good, I think. So we're going to put them in a little bath for about, like, 20 minutes. We will, we will, we will. Okay, BRB. I am back. It's been 20 minutes. Um, we're gonna get some of the water. My mom's gonna be so sick. She'll be like, why the fuck are you doing that, girl? I don't know. Okay, this is the part where I'm not the smartest. I season this shit. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? I don't give a fuck. God. Okay, we're gonna get some butter. Put that bit in there. Okay, they're gonna put all the oil. Like, like, I'm just putting salt. You guys are kind of in my fucking way. Move. Move, bitch. We're gonna take the black pepper. Fuck, what is this called? Kanye cayenne pepper. And we're gonna put onion powder. Put rosemary. And then I put paprika. And then garlic powder. Alright, let's mix. Now, bitches, I'll cook. Now we're gonna get an egg. Let me plate everything. I'm gonna move all the potatoes to the side and then cook the egg. Okay, so I have like an icing thing to put onto the pancake with its cinnamon roll, obby. I made icing. I made too much. Slay, guys. <laughs> it looks so sad. Okay, we're doing another eat with me because this motherfucker one I did the first time. Um, this chair is wobbly as fuck. Okay, let's do a taste test. Let's try. <laughs> the egg looks terrible, man. If you could see it looks bad. Okay, let's try the pancake to see if it's even good still. So, it's a cinnamon roll pancake. I found the recipe on TikTok. At first, when I first ate it, like, by itself, it was fucking nasty. And then the second time I ate it, I ate it with, like, like, other foods with it. It tasted really good. So, it's not bad, but it's been sitting out for, like, I think a day. So, I don't know. Maybe it's bad. And it's good. Let's try the egg now because the egg looks kind of scary. I don't even know if it's fully cooked. Egg is egg, bitch. And the potatoes. Damn. Oh. I love it. But that I hate pancakes and cinnamon. 
And this is too bad. Let me eat the egg because I think it's kind of nasty. Okay, I made an appointment to see... Oh my god, fuck this chair, man. I made an appointment to see an apartment recently. So... We'll see. I'm not gonna get it, Avi. I'm not planning to move out anytime soon. Just because money wise. <laughs> You're so fucking funny. There was multiple times when I said I was gonna move and then I didn't. So I'm not, like, I'm not moving. I'm looking at apartments. Also, I'm carless. My car blew up. But I just want to look at apartments to see, like, do I even need the, like, the amount of space I need? Or could I go smaller? Or do I need to go bigger? Like, it's kind of like that, I guess you would say. And also location. Location's a big thing as well. Because I don't know. Do I want to stay in the same city? Do I want to move to, like, another city? Like, do I want to move up north? You know? Like, I don't... Bitch, I don't know. The potatoes are so good. That's why I save them last. Because the flavor... But anyways, recently I reinstalled Instagram. So I have Instagram back on my phone. So I can go on it now. But I wanted to talk about this because recently... I've been getting DMs from people who subscribe to my channel, but I don't know if they watch my videos. I feel like they watch one video and then they DM me on Instagram. A lot of people have been asking for collabs a lot. It's been four people max. So four people have asked to collab with me. At first, I was very like excited to do it. I was like, oh my god, like people want to collab with me. Like we can do videos together, whatever it's not. But the problem with it with that is the fact that I don't fucking know you, okay? And it's weird that you could possibly know me essentially like you could watch all my videos and then know me and then be like oh i want to clap but i don't know you like it's kind of scary because i don't know your intentions like also i don't know you enough to know like what your stances are on things like i don't know if our opinions are not the same you like i don't know that's the thing so i had to decline a lot of collabs i declined basically all of them because i just don't know you I don't know you like I don't know what's going on and I, I feel like that's fucked up as well because I'm such a low YouTube person I don't fucking know like I don't have a high subscriber count so it's fucked up for me to decline people but at the same time it's like I'm a very open book and sometimes and I treat people the way once I start talking to someone I treat them like my best friend and that's a fucking problem because you don't know their intention you don't know if like I'm recording bitch go back to your room you don't need to eat you don't need to drink I'm like long story short i'm not like if you are wanting to collab i am so fine with that but like let let's get to know each other a little bit first also i feel like the people who want to collab don't even watch my videos it's almost like they're talking to me without like knowing me at all as well like there's some people that like dm me like two of the four i've had multiple times i've said in my older youtube videos I don't have Instagram right now. I don't have Instagram right now. And then they would continuously DM me and be like, why aren't you responding? Why aren't you responding? You obviously don't watch my YouTube videos, my guy. Like, please. It's weird. But I'm like, okay with collabing. Just let's get to know each other first a little bit. I do have a Discord server. I, <laughs> It's so bad, man. Like, I literally just made it. I didn't do anything to it. My Discord account is like pretty much like on display, but I don't really have a fuck. My Discord's not linked to anything. I don't think it really matters. A lot of my videos have been popping up and people I know IRLs recommended. That is a fucking issue to me because there's a reason why I don't link like anything to my Instagram because my Instagram is where I like the people I follow are people that the majority of them I know IRL. I want to say we're friends but I know them you know from my Instagram. I don't link anything from my Instagram because I don't want people to know where to find me. If anything Twitter. I'm kind of getting nervous because my YouTube popped up on my dad's recommended my sister's recommended my brother's recommended. Is YouTube linked to your phone number your email like what is the issue? Like, cause I, I'm gonna scare. Cause I don't want to pop on on people's recommended if I'm not close with them. That's kind of weird. Plus, I haven't told any of my friends that I do YouTube. I kind of just do it to do it. I don't like tell anyone about it. I used to show my YouTube videos all the time to my family, but then I realized they don't give a fuck, so I stop. I stop showing it to them. But like, YouTube's for me, and I'm not actively telling people to go watch go watch go watch my video like i'm not promoting that so i'm scared that people are watching it and they know me it's weird it's weird it's like rah, rah. it's like an invasion of privacy it's like someone reading my diary that's what it feels like to me i'm gonna turn this i feel like it looks gross from the other side i'm done okay that was that was my video y'all i don't know if it's good 
because it's more of an on a serious tone kind of like letting you guys know like what's going on okay i'm gonna be so honest i didn't think this youtube channel would ever go anywhere for obvious reasons i just had no idea like it would even like surpass 100 like i didn't even think it would hit 100 okay so that was like my initial thought like oh my god what the stop so it's kind of weird when now i'm at 350 i think that is insane to me and the fact that people are actively looking for my social medias to go follow and talk to me is already insane and i'm very grateful for that i'm very grateful for that the only thing i have that is i don't know you at all like it's weird that you know me and i don't know you i think that's really scary for me from my perspective it's very scary because it's like i'm so okay with wanting to talk to you or or making a video with you or even discussing topics with you i'm so fine with that the thing is with collaborations i feel like you're collaborating with someone that you either you know like a friend or like you have similar video styles or video whatever but it's like the people who are dming me don't have youtube channels or at least i don't see them or they're faceless and it's it's weird when you know everything kind of about me and i don't know what you look like nor do i know you and that's like the that was the topic i was kind of trying to talk about i wanted it to be more lightheaded lighthearted but i've had already four people dm me about this and there was a couple people who had like faces to their name but even that it's like i still don't know you i'm just discussing this now because i don't think my youtube channel is gonna grow any bigger than it is right now just because i feel like i have a good community going youtube's not that popular right now so it's kind of just like the people we have selected right now it's kind of like i just want to discuss that like i i'll reply to you i'm not the best replier but i will 1000 percent reply like i would love to hear from you guys but it's like at the same time it's like collabing is a different story like collabing collaborations are very much different i'm so sorry this video isn't that entertaining but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video i am so sorry that if you got offended by what i said that was not my intention i i just want to be more honest with how i feel about certain situations because i feel like it's difficult to tell people one-on-one -on -one about how i feel because i i through i think through text especially when i'm talking to these people if i'm texting it comes off very like hostile very rude very aggressive because you don't know how i'm like the way i'm saying it or my facial expression when i'm talking about it and so i kind of just wanted to talk about it on here so i am deeply sorry if i did offend you i didn't mean that whatsoever and anyways i hope you guys had a great day um please be kind and like comment subscribe if you feel like it if you don't i really don't care but anyways have a great day